I'm Weird, and welcome to another Katain Modger tutorial. Today, I'll be doing Simon Signals, which, as you might have guessed, it's another Simon module, which means there are three stages. Well, it doesn't always mean that, but there are three stages. So, the first stage starts with three different arrows pointing in different directions. Now, there are four attributes to each arrow. Their placement is uh, one that's not as important as the rest, but it is still important for stages 2 and 3, which the placement does loop around, so yeah, it's n not a linear loop. Second thing is the arrow shape, third thing is the arrow color, and the last thing is how many directions the arrow can point to. So, let's demonstrate. I'll start off with the blue one. So, I call this, uh, it's outline, and it's a quiver looking thing, and blue, it's blue, and to check for rotations, I keep doing that, since I did four rotations, I did six rotations total there, while it was active, so while it's on display, you can change the rotation by moving this one. And you can see all of the colors are in pairs, so blue is cyan, cyan is when you're not on the right one, and blue is when you're on where it started. Same with green and white, green and yellow, red and pink. So, that was six different rotations that that one could go. Now, the one next, the one right after blue is a, a filled quiver that's gray, and let's see how... Four rotations, five. And the final one, you can see here we have, I call this the skinny, the regular, the curved, and the quiver. I also can call this like the L or something. I haven't seen that one too much yet. Finally, the last one is an outline of skinny, and it's gray, and rotations. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Hold on, let me try that again. One, two, three, four. That's four. And you can see it's back to its original position. Now, first stage one of the module, you're gonna find the table that the top left has the amount of amount of places it can go. That's what the number means. So this is, can go five directions. Uh, the blue can go in six different directions, and uh, the gray can go four different directions, and there's one that you can go three different directions, which are these. So it will be this, this, and this. So, let's get started. For the first stage, you'll be, to determine the direction of the arrow, you'll be using its arrow position amount, which is the first one, we'll start with the first one, we we'll need, everything is on its own, so using the table with the 6, because it has 6, we're using the outlined quiver, because that's the shape of it, and it is blue, so we'll use that. Now, it points to either a, a direction, or just a number, and the number means turn something clockwise, so minus 5 would be counterclockwise and positive 2 would be 2 clockwise. So minus is counter 2, I mean positive is clock. So since we get this, I'll note this down as north plus. Now we'll calculate the other two at the same time. The next one has five different rotations and so we're gonna use this table Gonna use the gray row, and we're gonna use the filled quiver column. That will give us a two, which means we have to rotate two clockwise for that arrow. Now, for the third one, is is only four rotations this time. So we'll be using this table, we have the four, the gray row, and finally, skinny outline column, which results in a negative one. So we're gonna turn that one, one counterclockwise. So let's get started. I'll move this down so I can see while I'm putting. 
So let's start with that. Blue, which needs to go northwest. I just missed the input. Then the echo one plus two. Then after that, minus one. And submit. And you'll see that something looks the same, but every arrow is the same. But the new one will just pop, point up, I mean, appear on the loop somewhere along the route. And he, the loop is now important. Where it starts and where it ends is now important. Or well, where the placement is and which one's before it is important. That's the main important thing. So this one just starts before the blue quiver. So I'll put it here. So it is an outline curved gray. That's a three. And yeah, it's a three because you can only throw in three different directions. I just messed everything up. You can return them back to the normal positions using this. And yeah, once it goes back to the color that only appear once, which will be the first of these so red, green, blue, and gray. Gray. Yep. So now that we have all four arrows right now in in their order in the loop, quote unquote. Gonna find the column correspond to the previous arrow in the sequence. Gonna find the row, also including the previous arrow in the sequence. But we're gonna use a table of the amount of rotations that it has, obviously. Because how would you get, like, for example, west on if you only have three rotations? It doesn't make sense. And so, let's get started. Let's do this one first. Which means three. We're gonna use this table because it's three. We're gonna use the row of the previous and the column of the previous. So row gray. Basically, you're gonna use the the arrow of the previous and the color of the previous. So we're gonna use the outline scheme gray. There's also northwest for this arrow. Now, next up, we're gonna do the same thing with this arrow, the six, means that we're gonna use this table, the color means of this one is gray, so we're gonna use that, and the arrow of this one is outline curved, oops, it's outline and curved, so we're gonna use that, so five is our, now since it's six or six is five, this is the same as moving minus one, or negative one, aka counterclockwise one. So I'll we'll mark this at. The next thing is a five rotation. And we're gonna use the arrow of the previous as always for this stage, for stage two I mean. And use blue. We're gonna use the outline quiver. And that results in two. And the same thing for this one. Let me just do that quickly. Table four. Gray filled quiver. And so that's minus three, which I mean is also minus one. So let's start at the curve gray and find it northwest. Uh, that was not northwest. I just did a full rotation. Yep, and filled west. The blue can go one counter. The gray, the, the quiver gray two clock, and the skinny gray one clock. And that's a submit. And so, that's the answer. And that is the last arrow. It is added after the curve gray, which means, uh, hold on. Filled L red. Push. L arrow. L tip. Let's just L tip. Red. I think that's gonna be six rotations because it's. Let's test it. One, two, three. Yep. So it's been three halfway. Yeah. It is definitely six. So, for the final stage, we're gonna be using the table still of the direction the arrow can point in. 
but we're gonna use and we're still gonna use the column of the previous arrow but we're gonna use the row or the color of the previous arrow before the previous arrow basically the arrow two before the arrow so I'll delete these because well it's the interest different now I'll demonstrate so the outline curve gray where it has three rotations uh, the, the arrow before it is outline skinny and the arrow before that is gray and so we get less Next up, we have the filled out tip red. The six is the rotation. The arrow of the previous is an outline curve, and the color of the previous is a gray. That's five. Same thing here. Six. Uh, the previous one is filled out tip, and the previous of that is gray. Five outline quiver red. That's one. And finally, if gray, uh, we have four and filled quiver and blue. So let's not. Rest. So we have starting at northwest. Five, which is a minus one. No, this okay. So less five. Let me just reset. Okay, that was right. Eight of three. So either works because it's the same because it's six restrictions. Then one clock and then not less. Okay. One clock. Northwest. This is what I got. And that is correct. And that is how you do Simon signals. It's a bit repetitive, but overall not the worst thing ever. So let's do another one, but I'll do it quick. Uh outline cover gray. Outlines in me. Gray, filled out tip. Gray, this is three. This is six. That's five. Quiver gray five is that. Gray outline skinny six is less and filled L tip gray is three is minus two. So it's four and filled out tip gray. It's five and outline quiver green. So it's 
So yeah, outline failed. That's obvious. Uh, six outline quiver gray. That's the OS. And three outline skinny gray. Two, there's one. So, northwest. Yeah. I have a fill paper blue. It's really six. That's six. Because it's northwest. In east, so that must be six. It can't be any other number. Let's see here. Four. So that's it. Six outline quiver gray. Six outline quiver gray. Five filled quiver green. Not filled. Six outline quiver blue. And we have th three. Three outline skinny gray. Three outline skinny gray. That's how you do Simon Signals. So, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next tutorial or any other video I make. I don't know.